Moto Guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Garmin Basecamp for Mac. Garmin Basecamp is an application that enables you to plot custom routes and send those to your Garmin device and also interpret route data from your Garmin device. So the first thing we need to do is navigate to Garmin.com. Now from here we need to hover over Discover and click on Basecamp. Next we need to scroll to the bottom and you'll see on the right there's the download link for Mac. So I'll click on that. It takes me to a further screen with the system requirements and a few extra notes. So I'm going to click on download. Next I need to click on show downloads and double click on Basecamp for Mac. And next I need to double click on install basecamp.pkg. And that will launch the installer. So it says welcome to the Basecamp installer. You will be guided through the steps necessary to install this software. So I'm going to click on continue. Next it shows the software license agreement. So I'll read through that quickly and click on continue. And now I'm being prompted as to whether I agree or disagree with a license agreement. I need to agree in order to continue, so I'm going to click Agree. Next it describes the installation types. So it says there'll be a standard install on Macintosh HD and this will take up 228.1 megabytes of space. So I click on Install. Now I'm prompted to enter the password for my computer. and click on Install Software. Now you can see the software has been installed. It appears under the Applications here, and it notes that the installation was successful. So now I'll click on Close. Now it's asking me whether I want to move the installer to the trash. Um, now that we've installed the software, we don't need the installer anymore, so I'm going to click on Move to Trash. Okay, so now we can double click on Garmin Basecamp to launch the application. The first time you launch Basecamp, you're presented with this welcome screen. This screen has links to an introductory video, links to video tutorials, and also links to the online documentation. When I click continue, I'm taken to the next screen, which invites me to choose an activity profile. Activity profiles influence how routes are calculated, and there's several to choose from, for example, driving, hiking, and motorcycling. I'm going to select driving as my activity profile because this is one of the simpler ones and has fewer route avoidances. So I select driving and then click on start using Basecamp. Finally I'm presented with the task launcher. The task launcher contains links to tasks which you would typically carry out using Basecamp such as planning a trip or geotagging your photos. You can also access these tasks from within the software, so this is something you may or may not choose to use. You can check the checkbox on the left, which says do not show on startup if you no longer wish to use the task launcher, and this will prevent it from launching every time the application launches. So now we're ready to start using Basecamp. The first thing a user will typically do is zoom in on the area in which they live. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to zoom in on London. And we notice straight away there are a couple of problems. Firstly, there are hardly any roads. Secondly, there's almost no map detail. And thirdly, the River Thames is taking a very strange path through the centre of London before abruptly ending. So we can see that this map has almost no detail. We go up to maps at the top here. We can see that the only map we currently have is a global map. Now this is a map that Garmin provides so that when you load Basecamp it shows at least something. So we really need the more detailed map. And there's two ways we can go about getting that. Firstly is we can plug in the device and secondly we can install the map to the computer. So firstly let's plug in the device.
and you can see the map has now loaded from the device and we have the full map detail including the correct shape of the River Thames. If I go up and look at maps now you'll see that every map that's installed on the device is available to select including the North American map which I also have installed on the device. So that's one option but plugging in your device into your computer every time you want to use Basecamp could be somewhat inconvenient and you may not always have it to hand when you want to do some route planning. So what's more convenient is installing the map Map to the computer and for that we need to use Garmin Express. So I'm going to quit Basecamp and launch Garmin Express. Garmin Express is an application you would use to install map and software updates on your Garmin device. I've created a separate video which describes how to download, install and use Garmin Express for Mac. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume you've downloaded and installed Garmin Express and also added your device to the program. So what I've got set up now is I've launched Garmin Express and my device, my Zumo 590LM, is already connected to my computer. So it's appearing here as green, ready to use. So I'll click on the device. And now I need to click down to Map Options. And you'll see at the bottom here it says Install Map to Computer. So it says to use maps with Garmin Basecamp, you can install the files on your computer in addition to your device. Installing files on the computer may take a significant amount of hard drive space. It says a significant amount, but it's normally only two or three gigabytes, so not a huge amount. So next I click Install to Computer. Next I'm presented with the terms and conditions, so I'll read through those quickly and then click Accept. And finally, there's some important notes before we begin. So it notes that installation may take a few minutes. The map update will be downloaded to your computer and then you can use Basecamp to view maps and plan your trips. Finally, it says use Garmin map install to transfer the maps to your device and notes that installing files to your computer may take a significant amount of hard drive space. So I've noted before, it's not a huge amount. It's normally two or three gigs. So finally, if you're ready to start, click continue to the next step. So I click on continue and then it starts downloading and installing the map to my computer. The update's now complete and the map has been installed to my computer. So next I can unplug my device and launch Garmin Basecamp and I'll be able to see that the detailed map is available without having the device connected. So next let's disconnect my device from the computer. And you'll notice it's showing as not connected within Garmin Express. And then let's launch Basecamp again. and close the task launcher and you'll see we still have the uh, undetailed map but now if we go up to maps you'll see we have the option to select city navigator for Europe and if I click on that it loads the detailed map without having to have the device connected to the computer. So that's how to download and install Garmin Basecamp for Mac and how to get the detailed map both from the device and how to install it onto your computer. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.